one of the classic educational games, Oregon Trail, in Minecraft Education Edition. Hey guys, it's Chad. We're taking a look at Minecraft Education Edition again. We've only looked at Education Edition in one other video. This edition of Minecraft is actually pretty hard to come by if you're just a normal person. It's meant for administrators and teachers in a school, so unless you're actually at a school, it's a little bit difficult to get your hands on it. Well, Oregon Trail has been made in the Minecraft Education Edition, and I got a chance to check it out. So let's look at it. So this tutorial is going to be a little bit different because Education Edition is just so different. It all starts here on the Minecraft Education Edition site, and a administrator would create uh, the accounts for you to use, create an account ahead of time, and basically have all of this already set up on the computers that are going to need to be running this. But you can see that this is the Oregon Trail. You can download the world, and it'll download in a zip file, and it looks just like the uh, the, the files from the other, uh, edition, the Windows 10 edition with the .mc world extension. And if you try to run that, well, I'm in seven zip here, but if you try to run that extension, Windows will ask you, do you want to open this in, well, I guess it didn't ask me that time. Uh, do you want to open this in education edition or Windows 10 if you both have them installed? Let's go ahead and close out of this, uh, for just a second. You can also see that there's some learning materials down here. You can see there's a travel guide, public service announcement, cross, float, or hire. So all of these are really guides for the teachers in order to progress forward uh, in the game. This isn't so much a map that has everything built in and everything is done with command blocks and redstone to kind of push you in the right direction. You're actually going to be looking towards the teacher for a lot of your direction. So say this first lesson or one of the first lessons is which month will you leave? You'll choose view lesson and you can see that there's a curriculum here. Learning objectives, guides, student activities that you can do and performance expectations. There's also links to other websites that will explain what's going on. So the teacher could read up and impart all of this information on to the children and we'll see this later on the which month will you leave uh, sort of assignment uh, later also the minecraft education edition website gives you areas to do some extra things like discuss with other people right this doesn't have a discussion but you could imagine other teachers say things like you know what i found that it really helped then i brought out a calendar and uh then they could you know and i could show that some months later on would be cold and other months uh, wouldn't. Your own notes so that I could take the photos, keep notes, and uh, this could also probably um, uh, be helpful for uh, remembering things that I could share with my own teachers in in a school. So that's uh, a, the, kind of an overview of what you're going to be expecting out of this lesson. Now that we've done that, let's go ahead and jump into the game. And it looks very much like Minecraft. We've already covered, we have an episode on kind of the different blocks. So, uh, so I'm not going to cover all the different like sort of things, but you can see that there's some signs here a, uh, that uh, explain what's going on. The Oregon Trail experience, you're about to get to begin a great adventure traveling across a rugged landscape for over 2,000 miles. Pretty insane. Take over three months to do. Uh, and so you can see that this is a little almost self-guided so that the students could read through what's going up on uh, talking about don't die of cholera. I changed that from dysentery to cholera. Uh, you start off uh, with uh, just like the normal game uh, is you could choose to be a banker, a carpenter or a farmer and the different um the, the different things will give you different amounts of money. Let's go ahead and just set this today real fast. So the banker, you can obviously see you have a lot more money than the carpenter or the farmer. Kind of a nice visual representation of the difference in cash uh, to start off with. You have a really nice little build. 
And you have lots of little NPCs. This is almost like a tutorial NPC right here saying that you can see me, us and there's trail learning along the way. And this first little town, you're expected to kind of explore, read up on some of these people. Some of them are, are just uh, talking about their lives. Others, like this learning, uh, trail learning, uh, will tell you a little bit more about what's what your task is or what it, there is to learn. And you can see down here this Minecraft.net lessons. Well, you could bring that back over into the uh, into your browser and that will load up the lesson that I was talking about before. So take it or leave it. This has all the curriculum that you that I was showing off before. And this is a great resource for the uh, parents to, or sorry, the teachers to read up on and uh, get to know uh, so that you can use this in your lessons. This first task, you are meant to buy supplies with the money in those chests, depending on which one you decide to be. So this guy, Colton, he's uh, the general store. What you need? I probably have it. And his store is kind of broken up into uh, different things. So you can buy oxen. You can buy uh, wagon tongues, axles, and wheels. Uh, I believe, I'm surprised that, where is his, uh, the food? Oh, it's in here, but it's just, it, there's just a, uh, a, a lighting glitch right here. Not sure. Why, why are you lighting glitch? Uh, there's a, there's a chest right here uh, with the food inside of it. So you can uh, get food. And there's also signs up there. Let me see if I can game mode right here. I played this before and we didn't, I didn't see these lighting glitch. There we go. Okay, so that, now that that's solved. You can see the provisions and clothing and it tells you a little bit about uh, what's going on here and the different stacks of food and all the clothing and then you would put your payment into this chest right here this is all basically self-guided there's not really a whole bunch of redstone here keeping you honest or anything like that uh, this would be a discussion that you would have with the teachers and stuff like that so there's a blacksmith and then you get back here and you're ready to hit the trail and this would be another discussion that you would have in the classroom about what time you would leave, what month you would leave. And you can see that this guy is bringing us to that which month will you leave uh, 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 curriculum that we were looking at before. And then you hit the trail. Now, once again, uh, this isn't almost like I, I'll be honest that I was almost expecting something a little bit more interactive um, when I first loaded this up. And you just have to get that out of your head. That's just not what is going on. This is definitely going to be a discussion in the classroom. As we come across this wagon right here, uh, there is an NPC that explains that my wagon's broken. Please help me out. So you can see wagon's broke. Can you please help fix it? And there really isn't a lot to do here. There's just axe, shovel, and, and pickaxe and... The, this picture of a of a broken wagon, but this would be a discussion topic in the classroom. You know, there's not really much to do as a Minecraft player. You just kind of look at the statue and then and then move on. But this would be a great discussion topic in the class of should you stop and help? You know, uh, where what are your morals in this situation? Would you uh, risk your own family? You know, to stop and, and help someone else. Uh, this is our first river crossing, Blue River Crossing, if you remember in the original game. 203 feet across, 1.5 feet uh, in the middle, and you can choose to ford the river, uh, chalk the wagon and float across, or wait until conditions uh, improve. At uh, this one, there is no ferry. So this would be another discussion over what you would do. What are the risks with each? And then you would just kind of go across. You also, you know, in, in the original, you had a family and they might get sick and, you know, things like that. Uh, there isn't quite that um, level of detail in this version of Oregon Trail. You come across a journeyman. Uh, fort uh, uh, is ahead. The fort is ahead. You can resupply here if you need to. They have a post office and a trading post. Now remember, in the other version of the game, your family might get uh, dysentery. Well, right now, I have cholera. Oh, no. I hope I make it. 
And so once again, that would be a discussion point that you would have with your students and then just move on. So here we are at uh, the first fort, missions to protect uh, the immigrants on the Westward Trail. And so you can go and explore um, and have a discussion about uh, what this would be. Here's a trader right here. I'm a little light on stock right now. Might need to come back later. Um, but you could talk about how uh, the army would set up these bases to help people move uh, from you know one part of the country to another. Also, as someone who did play the game uh, when I was in elementary school, some of these seeing some of these landmarks built out in Minecraft are kind of fun, like the chimney. I forget what the full name of this Chim chimney rock. There we go, <laughs> chimney rock. Uh, and so uh, it's kind of fun to see some of these things uh, built out in the game. Over here, uh, you can press the button to start your hunt. Uh, in the beginning of this game, you uh, were given some arrows or a bow, and uh, you could buy some arrows if you wanted. So you could uh, go hunting here. I'm in creative mode and I didn't do that. So uh, that isn't uh, for me, but you can imagine what you would do. And finally, at the end of our long journey, you would come to the end of the Oregon Trail. And we are here. Isn't it beautiful? We can start our new life. Oh my gosh. This home house is almost finished. What do you think? It's very wood. Might burn. I'll, I'll be honest. Uh, I'm just, uh, so just letting you know. Um, so here we are, all of our hard work paid off, and hopefully we learned something along the way. As you can't actually download this and play it for yourself, I really want to know your thoughts about Oregon Trail in Minecraft. Do you think that it is useful? Do you think that kids are going to find this educational? Let me know in the comments down below. Thanks so much for watching this video. Please, if you would, give this video a like. It really helps me out. Make sure you subscribe to OMG Craft for future tips, tricks, and tutorials. And also some spotlights in there as well. And I'll see you next time on OMG Craft. Bye.